Happy Sunday. Nate is wound up in the background. Um, David and Lucy just left for church, but I'm hanging out here with Nate. And I'm over, well, at least for the today, I don't really want my Hot Pockets. So I'm having a sausage bagel sandwich. I just put this bagel in the toaster, and then I heated up a maple sausage patty. And then on the side, I'm having some strawberries and cut up pineapple and of course my coffee so this is what I'm having for breakfast um, today I did make David some eggs and toast before he left just to get some protein in him lots of cooking going on so I have an eight o'clock but anyway I thought you guys might like to see that I'm branching out y'all <laughs> after almost nine months of being pregnant actually over nine months of being pregnant right at it um, I'm having something different for breakfast so anyway looks good Hello everybody. Okay, so welcome to the vlog. I feel like the camera has been in this weird setting. I don't honestly know how long this camera is going to last. I've dropped it so many, so many times, but I feel like it makes my face look really red and my eyes look really blue. So I'm sorry. I've tried to play around with the settings and nothing's helping. And it makes me look like I have no eyebrows. I do. <laughs> They're just really blonde. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so today is Sunday. Um, I am 36 weeks, three or four days, something like that. And I have not been able to go to church for the last few weeks. Um, sitting in a car for the extended period of time, I have to sit in a car plus dealing with the kids at church and sitting in the sanctuary is just too much. I can't sit still for that long um, because of some pain I'm having. And so the doctor really wants me to lay down as much as I can, put my feet up stuff like that. So me and Nate have been staying home on Sundays and Dave has been taking Lucy. I feel bad that Nate can't go because he really loves church, but David is a pastor. My husband's a pastor and he has to be at church really early. They left here at 730. Church doesn't start till 10. So Nate, he has autism and he cannot be trusted to just sit still while David works and does the stuff he needs to do before church because he would just run off um, get into things just would not work. So me and Nate are here hanging out. I got up and I did make David some breakfast because I feel bad. I have not been, I have not been, um, making sure that he gets a good breakfast. And especially on Sundays, I feel like he needs extra protein. So I made him a couple eggs and some toast. You guys saw that maybe. And, um, I really need to do that more often because eggs are super inexpensive. I don't like them, so I don't think about them a lot for him. But David really does like them and something easy I can do for him. So I got Lucy ready for him. I got him out the door. And me and Nate have just been hanging out. It's like 9.20 right now. And I had my breakfast. Layla's been hanging out with us. Um, plan for today before they get home. They'll be home by like 12.30 or so I need to edit a video from yesterday and I need to prep some lunch. So David has something that we don't have church on Sunday night. Most of the time. Um, usually there's only a couple times a year where he'll have something on Sunday night. Um, but tonight he has a service at church, so he won't be home very long in between having to leave for that. 
I think he has to be there at 4 30 so he'll have to leave here by like 3 30 or 4 and um so I'll have both kids tonight and I want him to be able to come home for as long as he can so not have to like go get us food or something so I have some stuff to make enchiladas I think I'll make that for lunch for us uh, it's super easy to make and he won't have to stop anywhere they can just come straight home so I've got to prep that and I'll probably make two so that I can put one in the freezer because this is what I found when I cook one thing like that it's just as fast to make two it doesn't take me any extra time and I actually went through the freezer um all of the freezer meals I've done so I have not done like a day of freezer meals this whole time I've been pregnant I've only done one at a time so instead of making one meal I've made two and I have a whole list of stuff that's in my freezer so I thought I'd tell you guys what I have I have two tater tot casseroles a pan of chicken enchiladas a pan of baked rigatoni two sour cream noodle bakes a taco tater tot casserole two chicken pot pies I did have three but we ate one last week um, a side dish of mashed potatoes, a side dish of mac and cheese. I have a few mini bagel pizzas left in there. Um, I have a thing of taco meat that's ready to go frozen. I have a big container of chili and a big container of taco soup. So that is one. Oh, and then I cooked something else last week. Oh, I have, I need to add to this list, a pan of baked ravioli. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 meals, 13, 13 meals, and then like two side dishes. So that's going to be super helpful when the baby's born. My goal for next week, if I have the energy and the baby still cooks for a little bit longer, is I also want to add a few more chicken pot pies. That is my favorite freezer meal. They are very delicious when you cook them from um, out of the freezer. I think they taste better even after sitting in the freezer than they do fresh. So I want to make a couple more chicken pot pies. And I do have a recipe video for my chicken pot pie. I pretty much follow the Pioneer Woman's recipe, but I'll link that video down below. And I also want to make, it was something else I put on the list, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> There's something else I thought about putting in the freezer. So if I can add a couple more things, that'd be great. Um, and, um, uh, we'll just keep adding to the freezer, but I don't have the energy to do like, I've seen people like prep for their babies and they have like 30 freezer meals in one day. I just, I don't, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> I just can't do that. I just mentally can't do that. So one extra here and there is great, but, um, I think it's really going to be helpful when the baby's born. So me and Nate are just going to hang out. Like I said, I need to edit that video. Um, Lucy was so excited. I should have got a video of her all dressed up for church. She was so excited. She said, mommy, it's like me and daddy are going on a date. <laughs> it was so sweet. So anyways, uh, that's what's going on on this Sunday and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Hopefully I can figure out what's going on with my camera because it's absolutely driving me crazy. I feel like it makes me look ridiculous, but um, I've only had this camera for, okay, this is what vlogging does to cameras, or at least me. Maybe I'm just too clumsy with mine. I got this camera. I use a Canon G7X. They are not cheap. I think we pay like six or $700 for it. And um, Nate's distracting me because he's singing so loud. Uh, and I got it last January, or like right at the end. Like I think we bought it like the last day of December. So it's only a little bit over a year old, but I've used it multiple times. I mean, I use it every single day. So it gets dropped, it gets used, and I don't know. It's not, it's a great camera, but you know, you they, they get worn a lot. They wear out fast. So I may have to look at trying to get another camera, which I'm not excited about because they're expensive, but I'm afraid I'm going to video my baby being born and all the footage is going to look crazy because the color is so off. But anyway, that's, that's where we are. So I'll see you guys back later and we'll catch up. Maybe I'll show you guys my, um, ch uh, my beef enchiladas I'm going to make. They're the, the simplest things ever, but they're really good. So I'll show you that coming up next. All right, you guys. So 
I edited the video. I'm supposed to be making enchiladas right now, and I honestly feel so sick to my stomach that it hasn't happened yet. It is now 11:30, <laughs> so I'm just heating up Nate some leftover pizza, and we'll eat something simple, or David will stop and grab us something. I just do not feel like cooking or smelling anything cook. Honestly, I don't even know what he could get me that I could feel like eating. I just do not feel good. So I always have the best of intentions. And the intentions just die out after <laughs> a while. And I was editing the video and the coloring doesn't look bad at all on, on the actual computer. So I think maybe it's the actual screen on my camera that looks weird. So I guess I'll just have to get used to seeing it look weird. And then you guys don't really have to see it. So that's good though. But church should be almost over. And we will talk to you guys. Um, when David gets home, I'll show you if we have anything exciting for lunch. Um, Nate wanted pizza. So we have some leftover pizza. I'm going to heat up for him. I don't know what Lucy's going to want. I honestly like nothing. Nothing sounds good to me. We had chicken yesterday and for dinner I had, for dinner I had a piece of peanut butter toast after Nate went to bed, of course, because he's allergic and some hash browns with cheese and ketchup. My favorite thing at Waffle House is their hash browns. And I have gotten to where I can make them pretty pretty close. And they're so yummy. But I don't know. Nader, Nader said yes to pizza. He said yes. So I think that's what he's going to do. How's your day been, buddy? You want to say hi? He's playing. Playing, playing, playing. And I, my, also my goal was to do some laundry and to do some cleaning hasn't happened I'm waiting for the energy to strike me <laughs> it's not coming um the nesting stuff yeah I don't think I ever got like that I never got nesting with any of my kids I, by the end I'm just so tired I don't feel like doing anything but the kids have clothes and I need to fold and I need to do a lot of straightening up and stuff but I did them with the dishwasher I did do that and reloaded it but <clears throat> that's about it. So I'll check back in with you guys when uh, the other two members of our family get home. Baby boy has been kicking so much. I've been trying to get it on camera because um, like my stomach is like, <laughs> but every time I pull the camera out, he stops. Why do kids do that? Even in the womb, I cannot get him. The other two, I remember videoing my stomach and seeing them move and stuff. But with him, every time I get the camera out, he'll be kicking and kicking. I'll get the camera out and he stops. So He's a stinker already. So anyway, I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Okay, you guys. So he was kicking a lot. And of course, he's probably going to stop. Let's see if we can catch it. Mark. David and Lucy are on their way home. He stopped and got her some McDonald's. I guess that's what she wanted. So I'm just going to wait till I feel better and eat something. Nate's eating pizza now. Oh, Mark is not going to do it for you guys. He is not going to do it. Come on, Mark. Kick, kick, kick. He literally was just kicking so hard. And yes, I am still in my pajamas. I pretty much live in my pajamas. And that whiny sound you're hearing is Layla. She's crying because one of her toys is stuck. But I've gotten it for her about a hundred times and I'm over it. Okay. Let's see if I can get him to move. His butt is like right here. A lot of you have said that I haven't shown my baby bum much. Um, it's kind of hard to show on the vlogs. So follow me on Facebook or Instagram. And that is where I post all the weekly bump pictures. And one lady stopped me at the um, doctor's office today. This, I guess she was just there for a checkup or whatever. She was like, are you only really having one baby? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess I look big. Okay, well, I, if he starts kicking again, we'll try to get it. But it doesn't look like he's going to be cooperative. All right, you guys. So uh, I'm writing cards to everyone. Okay. I so just... lots have happened since I talked to you guys last. And, and yet not a lot has happened because I'm still in my pajamas. And, and I did this cute little picture. I did this cute little picture of Bo Peep. Sorry, Bo Peep. So cute. And Lucy's books. doing lots of art. And then I said, Did you have fun at church today? And I said, I love you, mommy. I love you, Layla. I'm about to do I love you, daddy. She's doing lots of work. Um, so, 
And they, I mean, they had a great time at church. They got home around noon. Um, I got really nauseous and ended up not eating anything and going to lay down as soon as David got here. All right, sorry, they were fighting. Um, so right before I lay down, this is why you should never, okay, PSA, I know this. You should never put Q-tips in your ears. You should be very careful and not put them in actually in your ear canal. However, I don't follow that. <laughs> because I've been so congested that I like putting Q-tips in my ears and like getting any moisture out, anything. Um, so I put a Q-tip in my ear and part, like I pulled out the Q-tip and it was just the stick. The cotton part had completely come off of this my ear. This is one of my favorite notes. So I freaked out a little bit and I could not get it out. And at the same time, I didn't re really know, like, is it in there? Or did it somehow fall out when I was pulling it out and I just can't find it? Because um, I couldn't really feel it. So David got home. I had him look. He couldn't see anything. And I thought, well, maybe there's nothing in there. So I went and laid down feeling horribly sick. I don't think the sickness had anything to do with the Q-tip. <laughs> it was just, I'm pregnant and I've been really nauseated the last couple days. So... I slept for a couple hours. David had to leave like right at 3.15. It was so, he only was on like just a little bit. I went to church too. And yeah, you had a great time at church. So I got up and I could feel like there was something in my ear. So of course I'm like Googling how to get it out. Everybody's like, go to the doctor. Don't try to do it yourself. I didn't want to go pay money to go to the doctor to get anything out of my ear. And um, I knew it was just like the little ear bud from the Q-tip. So I kind of squeezed a little bit of water just to help kind of loosen anything up and I could kind of feel the Q-tip and I stuck some tweezers very gently down in my ear. This was in my ear for like three hours, this little um, Q-tip bud. So I really need to stop putting Q-tips in my ears, but I got it out. <laughs> I'm so relieved to get it out. Um, I texted David a picture. I was like, I did it. Because he was like, there's nothing in your ear. It was really far down in there. I think when it came off, it just kind of fell back. Anyway, because I didn't have it down deep. Don't put Q-tips in yours. Lucy's looking at me horrified. <laughs> um, I know. I love you too. I'm okay. I feel much better now. I still feel very queasy. So I got up and I had a bowl of cereal and a cookie. That did not help me feel better, by the way at all did not help me feel better um but yeah, i'm making i'm making the kids some dinner now i'm okay Liz. um I, lucy wants corn yes i will nate get down off the couch nate is like my dad calls him a mountain goat and that's so true because he likes to climb onto the highest piece of furniture and just stand there Okay, let me finish talking. I feel like I'm having, having talking when you have children chattering is like having ADD. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Lucy wants corn, so I'm going to heat her up some pizza. Nate had pizza for lunch. So I'm making him some chicken nuggets. And at the same time, I just want to not ever look at food because I feel so sick. So that's our update. PSA, don't stick Q-tips in your ears. But thank God I got it out. And the kids are off tomorrow for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Every surface in our house is a mess. I really wanted to clean it. This house was perfectly clean last week. It's a mess now. So, uh, And the people that live upstairs are paying back all the months where we were loud. We were the loud upstairs neighbors. Now it feels like they're going to fall through our ceiling. I am not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. You guys remember all the mess we have with our neighbors being so ugly to us. So I'm not going to complain. But... They are very loud. Um, I can tell they have little kids, uh, so I know it's hard. But man, they're like gonna. I feel like the kids just gonna fall through our, our ceiling. But anyway, I'm making the kids some dinner, and David said it should be over by like 6:30 or 7. I don't know. I'm ready for him to get home. So I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Okay, you guys. It is now the next day, and I totally forgot to end the vlog yesterday. I don't even remember where we left off. I think I was telling you guys that David was at church and it kind of went later than he thought it was going to be. He didn't get home till right as the kids were going to bed. And I, by that time, I was just not feeling good, very nauseated. And um, I didn't pick up the camera again. So 
that was that. We had a, a good day yesterday, but we just kind of stayed home all day. Lucy got to go to church. We're gonna just about we're about to start the next video for the next day. So we're at the haircut. Yeah, so we'll tell you guys what we're doing today and everything in the next vlog. I also have my results back for some labs for the pregnancy, so I'll talk about that in the next we're vlog. At the haircut yeah, we're waiting for Nate. But anyway, I wanted to end the and vlog daddy. so I could get this video up and for daddy. you guys. Yes. Um I guess the moral of the vlog from yesterday is don't put anything in your ears like Q-tips. I'm really going to be a lot more careful because that freaked me out. Um, and what else did we do? I mean, we just hung out. I really had a lot of grand plans to do a lot of housework and we're, we're kind of behind on laundry again and cleaning and all that, but it just didn't happen because I really didn't feel good. I'm feeling a little better today, um, but... I think it's just like I'm at. I think part of the problem is I'm out of the part of pregnancy. I hear an ambulance and I saw yeah, that. I'm at the part of pregnancy where I'm just not sleeping good because I'm so uncomfortable and it just kind of makes me feel gross the next day. So I think it's preparing me for <laughs> all the sleepless newborn nights, maybe. So we're going to end the video here. I have no idea how exciting or long this video is, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We would love to have you a part of our YouTube family. Lots of exciting things coming, you guys. We'll see you all later. Bye. You say bye. Bye. I got my purse and I got puppy in there. <laughs> Bye.